Let's calculate the mass of one atom of sodium, that's Na. We're talking about the mass of the average sodium atom. So to do this, we're basically taking the molar mass, in this case the atomic mass, and we're dividing it by Avogadro's number. That's really all we need to do. So let's take a look at the molar mass. This is the average atomic mass for sodium. And you can think of this as having the units of grams per mole. So we'll take our atomic mass here, our average atomic mass, that's 22.99 grams per mole. And we're going to multiply that by a conversion factor. We know that one mole of any substance has Avogadro's numbers of particles in it. So now when we multiply and then divide, moles on the top and bottom, that cancels out. So we're essentially dividing 22.99 grams by Avogadro's number here. So we're going to end up with grams. That gives us, and the units, that's going to be grams. And we know that this is a small number, should be a small number, because atoms are very small, shouldn't weigh much. If you wanted to get this to kilograms, you just divide this number by 1,000. That would give you 3.82 times 10 to the minus 26, a much smaller number. Finally, if you had an isotope of sodium, say you had an atom of the isotope sodium-22. This 22 is the mass number for the isotope. You would just replace this number here with 22, and that would give you the mass of one atom of the isotope, sodium-22. This is Dr. B with the mass of one atom of sodium. We're looking at the average sodium atom. Thanks for watching.